Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks so much for clicking on my video today. A bit of a different video today, I am reviewing Tala. Now, this is not a gifted video, this is not a promotion video or anything of the sort. I've bought these clothes off my own back and I'm giving my honest review of them because a few weeks ago, I saw their score on TikTok and I put on my Instagram story whether anyone had shopped there before and how they found it because I've never shopped with Tyler before and quite a few good reviews, some okay and a majority of people were just like, I don't know, I've never shopped there before, I've wondered the same, you know, I want to know what they're like as well. So I thought I'm going to try them for you so you know whether it's worth spending your money on. Now, usually when I do my hauls, I show the item, then try it on, show the item, try it on. But this time, I'm just going to have a quick review of the material, of the feel of the items that I've got. And then I'm just going to try them on at the same time because I'm not sort of showing you the items as such. It's more of a review of the actual brand and the actual material and the quality of the products. So I just wanted to start with saying, if you're not sure about what Tala stands for, they're a sustainable active brand and they've just started doing quite a few everyday like basic pieces as well so I've got a mix of the two a few of the active pieces and a few of the everyday items because I think I'd get more aware of the everyday items they're very sustainability focused and continuously improving their sustainability for example I looked on their website and it said they don't do free shipping because that's often something associated with fast fashion and encourages overconsumption and returns they don't put like the order slips into the packages because it wears paper that sort of thing alongside obviously making sustainable sustainable clothing so the actual brand itself i really like what it stands for and i really like the idea of being like a sustainable active wear because i know the reason for grace beverly starting the brand was because of the lack of sustainable active wear in the fashion market so she saw the gap stepped in and seems to be doing a fantastic job of making these products so yeah I'm really excited to have a look at them so a quick review of the actual material it's lovely and soft I did actually get all of the items in white mainly because it's summer and I'm not one for wearing dark colors in summer because it draws in the heat and I do not cope well in the heat as it is so I don't need to add anything else onto that so I prefer lighter colors I got a large in everything just so you know and I'm like a size 12 to 14 so that's about where I am body wise. I'm really impressed with the material. It's really nice and sort of like quite weighty. They seem to be reasonably thick but not too thick which is really good for a white item. I don't know how see-through they're going to be because as we know white is a dangerous dangerous colour to be wearing because it's just always see-through. <laughs> this particular item that I'm showing you just to discuss the product quality is um, a maxi dress and it has like a rubber band to keep it up on you which is really good. So yeah overall with the quality of the items I'm actually very impressed so hopefully when I try them on I'm going to be just as impressed this is the maxi dress on now I'm actually pretty impressed I am wearing a nude strapless bra and nude underwear so you can't really see the underwear but you can sort of see where my underwear is but I think that's just more because it is skin tight you're not really going to be able to hide where your underwear is the overall quality of the dress I'm actually really impressed like it's doesn't feel like it's going to slip down. It feels very supported. I like the material. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. If it just wasn't for the fact you can really see where my knickers are, um, I would actually really quite like this. But for me, it's just a bit too clingy on the areas that I don't particularly want it to be clinging to. But overall, the actual material is lovely. Maybe if you're not too bothered about the fact that you can see where your underwear is, like, go for it. Um, but yeah, for me, it's just not, I don't feel comfortable in it. I just feel like it shows every lump and bump and I'm not enjoying that. But yeah, I'm impressed with the actual quality of the product for definite. On to one of the athletic pieces now. This is a different material to the everyday dress that I just tried on. This is more of a lycra material, a sportswear sort of material, which I imagine will keep you sort of cool and also will help when you sweat, so like dry faster, I imagine. But I'm very impressed. It's still really soft. I think 
it fits really well it's true to size i'm very impressed with the sizing it does have removable cups which i think at the minute i've got a bra on so i would remove the removable cups while i was wearing a bra but that's kind of handy to have in there if you are going to wear this without a bra it's shorts underneath which i do actually really love that idea because obviously if you're wearing a dress and doing sports or maybe you're wearing it for a hike or something you can feel comfortable and still feel cute which i actually really love i love the style of it i'm actually really impressed i like this it's double lined so i don't feel like you can see too much and it has got a zip which i will show you but i don't think for me personally i would have the zip open because i feel like it's a bit too much uh, coming a bit closer maybe you can see the outline of my underwear a little bit but yeah it's nothing that i'd be overly conscious about I like it and I think it's cute. I think in terms of the material and the way that this goes because it's got the little flowy skirt over the top rather than the figure hugging one, I do think for my body type I do prefer this one to the everyday dress but they're both sort of cute in their own rights if that kind of makes sense. It kind of just depends what you're looking for like if you're looking for like everyday items or if you're looking for sportswear but at the minute considering Tala is primarily sportswear I'm actually still quite impressed at the everyday dress so don't get me wrong although I do prefer this one I am still impressed with the maxi dress so I know what you're thinking she's put the dress back on I haven't this is actually um, a top and skirt combo which is basically the same as the dress but obviously more interchangeable and can do more things with it which is why I wanted to try this as well because I thought if I really liked the dress maybe I prefer buying these two pieces so I can wear you know it with other skirts other tops kind of thing but yeah it's the same kind of vibe as the dress I do love it I just don't think for me it makes me feel comfortable it's just not clinging to the parts that I want it to cling to and I just don't think it's doing me any justice in particular and being like mid-size it's just not for me maybe if it's in a darker colour but I'm just not about wearing too much black and stuff in summer and I'm also not really into grey which was the other options for these items but it is it is really good in terms of quality I'm impressed with again the rubber band to keep it up I feel really supported it's just for my body shape and how I feel it looks on me, it's just not doing it. So, so far, I'm not in love with any of the pieces, but I do like the quality. And like I say, if you're maybe into wearing darker colours, these pieces are probably great for you. They always say white's not the most flattering and it can make you look bigger so it's probably why I'm not liking it as much maybe if I got the black I would have but like I said I just I know I wouldn't be wearing the black so it would kind of be a waste of my money last but certainly not least this was the skirt that I saw on TikTok that I really really wanted to try and the reason that I am trying these clothes right now so yeah you can see now the difference between the everyday items and the more active wear items I think the active wear items have a bit more layering to them are a bit thicker and a bit less likely to see through whereas with the everyday items they are a little bit thinner and feel like you're slightly more likely to be able to see through the everyday items compared to the active wear now the score very much like the active wear dress that i just tried very similar style i do quite like it i just don't know if i'm totally in love with it i can't say i'm too in love with any of the items so i don't think i'm going to be keeping any but like I say, it, that's probably because I've gone for all the white items and that is simply because I've worked wear black when it's really hot. Um, and B, I think I'm just feeling a bit unconfident with my body at the minute, but that's fine. Just clinging to the parts of my body that I wouldn't particularly want them clinging to, but that's more me trying to get used to a different body than I'm used to. Yeah, in all honesty, I'd probably say I am very impressed with the quality of the items and the items themselves. I think just for me at my current position and how I'm feeling with my body at the minute, they're just not clinging where I want them to. So yeah, for me, I'm not going to keep them. But I hope this video has somewhat helped you to see what they look like on um, average body, I guess, rather than the pictures online. And hopefully it's helped you in your decision um whether you're going to buy something but yeah and as always thank you ever so much for watching i hope to see you here for my next video